Hello, I'm going to clean the, my outside air conditioner condenser coil. So it's running right there. And so we're going to get that to shut off and show you how to clean your coil. I'll be using this foaming cleaner I bought off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You can get any foam cleaner. I'm not promoting uh, this one item. It's just a good deal I found when I needed one. So I'll put a link down there. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is turn off our inside air conditioning unit. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I just turned off the inside unit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kill the power out here. We're going to pull our, pull our breaker out. And we're just going to uh, set that out there. That way there's no way that can start up on us. And then what we're going to do is start loosening some of these uh, one-fourth size uh, quarter inch uh, screws so that we can lift this lid off. Okay, so I've got a quarter inch uh, drill bit I'm going to use just to get these out of there. So I'm just going to keep track of these. I'm going to use a, one of these magnetic trays to hold them so that I don't lose these screws. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down and finish those up. Okay, I think we have all the screws out. So typically on a design like this, this piece needs to be lifted up and back in order for this one to come out. So we're going to lift this piece off first. All right, so I got to figure out, I can't remember how these two went together. I've only had them off one, one other time. So I got this loosened. Okay, so now it's kind of, kind of popped out. And now that I, it's loose and now see these tabs kind of fit into here. So in order to peel this back where I need to clean, I need to kind of let this fall out of the way here. I'm just going to kind of let it come down like that. So then that way I can grab this and let it come back. You should have enough. I want to make sure you have enough um, slack in these wires to lay this down. Kind of let that sit there. Okay, come look inside here. So what I want to do first, get a broom and a dustpan, and I'm just gonna, gonna start cleaning out all this gunk. First thing I'm gonna do. The last time I cleaned this probably about a year and a half ago or so and the coils were dirtier uh, hasn't been all that long so they really don't look too bad All right, so now we take our foam cleaner. I would not, I would be careful if you ever thought about using this, these plastic bristles because the coils are very sensitive. So I would advise just spraying it. And it says that it's self-rinsing, that you don't have to come back and rinse it, but I don't know about that. I think it's probably safer to rinse it. Just to avoid the electrical wires. So with the foaming, when this is running, it's bringing in outside air. So it brings in all that dirt with it and leaves deposits on these coils, meaning that your air conditioner has to work harder to cool your house. So. This is a cheap way to keep these coils clean, prolong the life of your unit, save you money, and not having to replace your air conditioner as often. And 
hopefully save something on your energy bill when your unit's running less than it would have been running. Especially with the cost of electricity right now. This unit was manufactured 17 years ago, in 2005. So it's doing pretty well. I would advise getting two cans. Again, they're not that expensive, so I think I might have been able to get this all out of one can if I wouldn't have done it as heavy. But I still got all this to do and I'm already kind of empty on this one out. I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. Alright, I'm on my second can. Big difference. So two cans is going to thoroughly saturate everything. We're going to let that sit for 10-15 minutes. We'll come back and check on it. Alright, so we let it sit 20 minutes. You can come on in and see. We haven't touched it. Most of the foam is gone. Well, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our hose and we're just going to put it on a pretty good setting there and just spray it out so we're not going to spray from the outside in we're going to spray from the from the inside out we just start at the top just want to spray all that out now the can says that you can just leave it uh it's just that it seems like since it's loosened all that dirt that instead of just letting it sit in there and drying it makes sense to use some clean water to kind of get it out of there. But I'm sure if you left it there, you'd still be just fine. Spoils look great. Yeah, this was the first wall that we did right here. I'd say the coils look great, I guess I mean they look clean. You can see the damage and that's why I pretty much to touch them. These are 17 years old and they're good at and they work great. But you can tell by looking where they've been scraped in the past by somebody. So this, this color, what well, looks like a different color on the film, this looks damaged to me. I don't know if it is or not, but it, it's actually doesn't look too bad down there where I'm seeing the color difference. This is odd. This looks like damage right here where it's been probably just bumped and they're very sensitive. So just want to avoid touching the, the coils. I think if you got it, got it started the first time, and then from then on did it every two to three years, you'd be in good shape. And even though I 
hose is not going to take those, those pins on the coil. You definitely do not want to use a, a pressure washer. You don't want to use a high pressure hose. Alright, so what I'm going to do on this outside is just put it on a light setting and not really spray it back in, but just, just clean it off. So now, we're going to flip this back over. Smashing my, smashing those fins on top. It's easy to do. So I need to be careful putting this back on. They have a lot of things to watch out for. The fins, as well as these electrical wires. this up fun part is trying to Take the screws that we took out of here and we just put them in all the way around. Uh, then we'll put our breaker back in. Then we'll turn our unit back on and we'll be done. So I hope that's been helpful to you. You can do that yourself now. Look at the link in the description if you want to see the foam cleaner that I purchased from Amazon.